Hi YouTubers, welcome again to my channel. Um, back here in Washington DC, I'm doing my farewell tour and one of the places that I come a lot but I haven't really show you guys is the US Capitol. So US Capitol is uh, located in Washington DC, about 700,000 residents. And one thing that's iconic about the US Capitol is Washington DC is a district, it's not a state. So it's uh, usually on the uh, car bump license plate, you'll see representation without taxes, without res representation. That's because in Washington DC, uh, there's no senator that represents the residents of um, Washington DC. So this uh, Washington DC uh, is the US Capitol. Um, it's ob obviously the epicenter of the world. Behind me, you'll see the White House. And we're gonna walk around from the White House all the way down to Capitol Hill. The last time we were here, it was in the middle of the Black Lives Matter protests. And right now, I'm at the Black Lives Matter Plaza, which I'm gonna show you guys right now what it looks like. It's very deserted. Um, things were a bit tense back in the days. Uh, about eight months ago, we had a lot of um, tension in the air with all the activity, um, presidential year, election and all that stuff but now as you guys can see there's no much activity here anymore um, there used to be a lot of vendors and a lot of tourists coming here for um, to make the support for Black Lives Matter but everything is kind of gone it's deserted now um, you know obviously there's a pandemic and it's winter and it's cold right now it's minus six uh, degrees but um, this is gonna be the last time that I'll be here in DC so I wanted to um, do a vlog to show you guys what I see every day and some of the um, iconic landmarks in Washington DC so we're gonna actually um, we're gonna get a little closer to the White House um, and we're gonna walk towards Capitol Hill I want to stop at a gift shop the White House gift shop it opens at uh, 10 which is right now and I'll get some face masks and if you guys subscribe to this video the first uh, 20 people that subscribe to the video or the channel I'll be shipping out one of the uh, face masks to you guys it's gonna be the White House face mask with the US seal on the side so I'll ship those out once I get into the gift shop alright so let's go ahead um, I'll get a little closer to the uh, White House it's still boarded up still fenced in we used to get closer inside the Lafayette Square but right now it's still fenced in obviously because of uh, some of the activities in the summer uh, but we'll see how close as we get and and then we'll get some uh, close-up of the uh, US Capitol and some of the iconic building like the US Supreme Court um, are wrong okay Alright guys, so right behind me you can see the US Cup, uh, White House, so right now we have uh, Joe Biden in the White House right now, um, eight months ago we had a different president, but hopefully this is a better view. Uh, we still have the fencing, about 10 feet fencing all around the White House, but there's not a lot of people here like where it was before, so you guys can see. <laughs> So straight ahead you can act, you get a really nice view of the White House which is a really um, I guess an iconic view because there's the balcony overlooking the George Washington Tower and over here there's a lot of activity in the summer it's really nice because the trees right now you see right now there there's no leaf but you have the cherry blossom festival in about a month from now and uh, during the cherry blossom festival you get these really nice colors around the city um, and this White House um, recreation space is nice to come and visit and have a picnic 
um, celebrate the festival of cherry blossom yeah it's really um, scenic, very scenic it's getting a little bit more busier because the temperature is warming up a lot more um, so you see a lot more people out there but there you go a beautiful view of the White House from this angle um, we are actually going to walk towards the George Washington Tower over here um, and you'll see the you see 50 flags around the George Washington Tower those represent each one of state and what's iconic about the George Washington Tower be prior to COVID you can go inside and take the elevator all the way up to the top of the tower which um, obviously it's pretty tall I'm not sure exactly how tall it is but um, you can take the elevator up right now it's closed obviously with COVID and then to the left of the George Washington Tower is the African American Smithsonian Museum which was opened during the Obama era and um, there's a lot of history captured in that building um, it takes you through the times of uh, slavery all the way up to modernization and inside of the building there is a boat which is a replica of what the slave came on so yeah there's so much to see it's hard for me to explain but um, it's really a nice place to visit very humbling experience um, definitely one of the places I recommend when you're here Straight ahead, you'll see, uh, you can't see that much, but the building that has the little bit of a tower ahead is the Holocaust Museum, um, which has obviously um, images and history of the Holocaust, which is a very humbling place to visit. And um, all the way towards my right, uh, you can see the World War Memorial which is obviously um, I've done I've taken you guys to the World War M Memorial in my previous visit uh, visits so if you want to look at a closer view of the World War Memorial uh, check out my older videos on the channel and you can see what that site looks like it's beautiful and I highly recommend it so when I keep walking down towards Connecticut Avenue um, the White House gift shop is at the corner of Connecticut and uh, Pennsylvania Avenue. So we're gonna go there, uh, get some stuff, some souvenir, and um, straight ahead we're gonna go towards the U.S. Capitol to see what it looks like now. Prior to all um, af the aftermath of all this stuff that happened, the invasion, the insurrection, um, we're gonna go see what it looks like now. I don't think I've ever seen a light or a So right behind me you can see the African American Smithsonian Museum which is uh, obviously one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen for a museum. It has these really nice uh, aluminum exterior um, and it's really good because it allows air inside, nice circulation and it's like gold plated or almost like um, yeah, just like really good ventilation throughout the building and it has a very unique design so it's small at the bottom and it's like a cone that goes up wide at the top which is unique for that building we're actually on Cons Constitution Avenue and we're heading up 14th Street because um, I want to show you guys what the mall looks like with all the museums around so from here on you'll see a ton of museums uh, like the Native American Museum which is right there on my um, on my right you'll see the Native American Museum so there's a lot of um, activities around here all the museums are closed right now um, hopefully with COVID um, slowly getting under control things will open back up there's a lot of employees to get employed working at the museum it's you know one of the brings in a lot of tourism for Washington DC so there's so much to like and love so we're gonna walk down the National Mall 
and uh, we're gonna see all the unique museums and buildings there is around here as you guys can see there's not a lot of people here still it's almost 11 a.m. on a Sunday morning um, but it's you know obviously the impact of COVID a lot of people migrated from um, DC so yeah it looks kind of strange now so one thing that DC is known for is food truck it's, it's like the food truck capital of the United States so over there you can see the um, this is DC fried chicken food truck really um, iconic food truck great things to take in and there's a few more uh, in the summer there's usually a ton of food truck down along this walkway um, obviously those are not here anymore like before but there's a lot of food truck here and one thing that you experience when you come to DC is the food truck they have all different type of food combined great tasting food uh, super delicious uh, so we're here at the National Mall so National Mall is pretty iconic because it's a a really nice uh, landscape for walking and exercising and all on the sides of the National Mall is different museums you'll find all different um, types of museums around here so you can see a lineup of food trucks all along the, the National Mall here all different flavor food truck sure you can always find something that you need um, yeah all different variety of food pretty awesome You can even get ice cream in the coldest weather right now. I'm not sure how that appetizing that is right now, but yeah, there's all different types of flavor food here. So you guys can see straight ahead, we're heading towards the U.S. Capitol. I know about 70% of Americans have never seen the U.S. Capitol. I was fortunate enough to be working around here so I get to see this often um, and right over there you'll see the Capitol Hill uh, which has been in the news a lot with the insurrection this uh, this exact spot here is very iconic because we had so much history that happened here from the Martin Luther March I have a dream speech here to the Women's March the Black Lives Matter March all the marches always end up all here on the US Capitol lawn and straight ahead is the U.S. Capitol building, Senate, as well as the House. And, and I want to show you guys the view. So you're staring at the U.S. Capitol ahead. And as you, um, as I turn the camera over here, you'll see the George Washington Tower. And right behind the George Washington Tower, you will see um, the Capitol Hill. So it's like a a really great scene because it's three unique um, historical building so I'm gonna keep walking towards the US Capitol I want to get as close as I can I know there, there has been a lot of fencing uh, if you guys saw my earlier video I had a tour of the US Capitol um, and I kind of um, had uh, we actually got really close into the US Capitol but now with all the um, activities that happened in the last few months um, we can't get as close as we used to but I'll see how close I can get uh, like I said on uh, the National Mall which is where we are right now on the sides or the shoulders of the National Mall is all these different museums um, there's all different types: the National Art Gallery American um, Art Museum there's Middle Eastern Art Museum there's um, French art museum there are so many museums um, all different type of topics or sceneries that you might be interested in there's a museum for that and it's a nice place to come and walk your dog um, get some exercise in uh, right now it's really open there's not a lot of people but this place can be really crowded over 
Millions of people can fit here. The temperature is actually warming up a lot more now. So it's just good because the more people can come out and get your exercise in. So right over here we have the National Air and Space Museum. There's some expansion happening, um, which is quite uh, pretty awesome because the museum is one of the largest museum, I believe, in the world. Um, it starts from the end of the construction site uh, right over there, and then it goes all the way down to where you see that little tent over there. And inside the National Air and Space Museum, I've been there a few times. There's flight simulation, space rocket simulation. There's a TAT inside, there's a replica of the space station inside of that building. There is um, samples from the moon, uh, samples from Mars. There's the rovers, the retired rovers, all located inside there. So there's so much activity, so much to see. I mean, literally you can come um, to Washington DC and spend an entire day in the space station um, or in the National Air and Space Museum. It is one of the largest museums and it has a lot of the um, historical um, aircrafts that are retired, space rockets, the retired spaceship that are retired uh, inside that museum, which is really nice. It's captured really nicely in there. Um, it's huge. Right now it's closed. It's been closed since last March. It's over a year now since they're closed. But it's nice to see they're having construction, which means that they're going to be adding more and more to the space station or more and more to the National Air and Space Museum. Um, so we're getting closer. So the space, the Air and Space Museum is actually pretty close to the capital. Um, one of the um, next uh, site to see over there is going to be the Botanical Gardens, which is right beside the um, US uh, Capitol building. And over here we have some more museums, all closed right now, but you can still get close and take photos of the museum. So we have, I'm not sure which one that one is specifically, but there's a museum for abstract art, there's a museum for French art, uh, European artists, lots and lots of museum. And I don't think uh, you'll ever be bored if you ever visit in here. There's so much to see, so many museums to visit. So right ahead is the U.S. Capitol. We're getting closer. Uh, you can see folks out here playing soccer. The lawn here is really nice, actually. It's um, sort of green, but um, it's well maintained, clean. There's not a, lot, not a lot of pollution here, which is good. Littering is really good, uh, well maintained. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get close. I can already see the fencing on the U.S. Capitol. And we'll see how close we can get. Hopefully all the um, structures intact from the insurrection, but we'll see. So as you guys can see, this is as close as we can get to the uh, Capitol Hill. I remember prior to the insurrection and prior to the election, um, we were able to get all the way up to the stairs of the um, building for the U.S. Senate and U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, but now you can't actually get that far because the fencing is all the way up in front here sort of sad and then you have military guards right at the fence um, so if you're able to I guess breach the um, outer parameter there is another fence behind that uh, which I mean if you're able to scale two fence you have to deal with the military guards which is uh, unfortunate because this is how we used to be able to um, get close to the capital. And there you go. So we have the, I think that's the guards in there. And here's the fencing. It's about, uh, I want to say, 10 feet high fencing. And, uh, and the way, way beyond, you can see Capitol Hill. So yeah, that's uh, that's what it looks like now. Very um, and it's a long stretch of fencing, goes all the way down 
Um, I'm not sure which uh, where it ends, but on this side here, it keeps going all the way down past, um, I want to say 7th Street, which is, you know, unfortunate. Yeah, so there you guys go. This is the US Capitol now, after the insurrection. And this is as far as civilians can get uh, to the US Capitol. So that's, um, this is gonna be our last visit for some time. But we were lucky that we were able to get closer there um, before things got crazy the last two months. And straight ahead, you ha still have a great view of uh, George Washington uh, Tower, which looks really nice in the night. And then sometimes you'll see the plane flying across the tower, which is um, sometimes very scenic. It is a great place to come and hang out. You can see a lot of families here uh, visiting. Uh, usually on a non-pandemic year, there will be millions and millions of people here daily could be tourists from all over the world but um, things are sort of restricted now all right so we're gonna keep walking around here um, we're gonna try to get to the White House gift shop uh, shouldn't be too far from here and grab some of those masks So right over here we have the uh, United States Courthouse. Now this is one of the lower court, um, and right next to the U.S. Capitol. I don't know if you can see it in this angle here. Just be, at a, towards the right of the U.S. Capitol is the Supreme Court, which is the highest court in the land. All boarded up, so we can't actually get close to that. But this would be the um, second highest court before a case goes to the U.S. Supreme Court. So right here we're on Pennsylvania Avenue on 4th Street on Pennsylvania Avenue, keep walking all the way down Pennsylvania Avenue it'll take us back to the White House um, and we're gonna head towards the White House again but this time we're going on a different uh, view of the White House because we want to get to the um, to the gift shop which is our mission today is to get to the gift shop on the right over here 
um, for all the Canadians out there this is the Canadian Embassy if you can see the Canadian flag right here this is the Canadian Embassy in DC um, and you can see pretty unique building it's uh, it's within like less than a hundred feet from the US Capitol does have one of the best um, location I guess to the US Capitol and on the building towards my left over here you'll see uh, I think that's the National Archive Museum there's three there's two buildings of the National Archive there's one of them I believe and I'm gonna keep walking down give you guys a good view of the Canadian Embassy here in Washington DC simple building um, does have the Canadian flag there iconic building so let's keep walking down if you go down the road over there that will take you down to Connecticut um, Avenue which will lead you back to the National Mall So we're still walking down Pennsylvania Avenue and on this side here on your right this is museum which is actually a museum for a news and over there you have the the first amendment of the constitution freedom of speech and freedom of the press is written on the um, building on the exterior of the building um, it's actually on a renovation now um, so you can't access it but it's really nice I actually did a video on this here in one of my vlogs earlier prior to the pandemic uh, so check that out but um, in there you'll find all the all the historical artifacts of news news from the 17th 18th century just preserving the right for liberty of the press so that is a really iconic building um, not sure what changes they're making to the building but that is gonna be uh, renovated and probably um, redone really nice for um, whenever we can visit again so we're passing down 6th street we're still on Pennsylvania Avenue there's some more historical buildings along the way I think there's one coming up here on the right um, and this one here does have a little bit of history over here make no little plans this is the federal triangle heritage trail and you can see the um the statue here which is a symbolic representation of the federal triangle or federal trade commission building really nice that statue uh, so the ftc uh where all the ftc laws are made and enforced most of that happens in this building right here all right so it's really a gorgeous walk right now there's not a lot of people out here it's almost 12 o'clock um, on a Sunday and you can see the sidewalk here is really empty um, not sure I guess a lot of people just left the city Washington DC is very unique uh, I believe it uh, has about 300,000 houses and a population of 700,000 um, people who live here but many of those folks almost uh, 30 to 40 percent of the people that live here um, or don't actually consider Washington DC home they live on the outskirts of DC which is Virginia and Maryland um, and many of the folks come from all different parts of the state uh, just to come here to work on some lobbying contract or work contract and then they'll migrate when uh, where they don't need to be here so with the pandemic I'm guessing a lot of people went back home and work remote because many of these buildings are closed so it's really hard to get access to the building so I'm guessing a lot of people just went back home and um, work from home all right so we're gonna keep walking if you take this um, 7th Street down that'll take you back to the National Mall so we're at 600 Pennsylvania Avenue I'm gonna keep walking towards the um, the White House gift shop. So over here we have the first building of the National Archive, and you can see it says there, "What is past is prologue." This is a unique building. It's beautiful. It has these tall uh, pillars, 
and then on top of it it has all this different um, design or statues of um, of like history and symbolic meanings um, but yeah this in this building you'll find uh, it's a research library for documents from all the way back to the very existence of human beings and the, all the documents is preserved in this building um, and it's actually preserving documents from every country not just um, from the US but every country there is out there uh, you'll find documents here it's one of two buildings the other one is more in Maryland but it's the one in DC uh, which is just uh, nice and pretty beautiful from the exterior uh, I know I was talking to one of my colleagues who was in school and he mentioned that he usually when before the pandemic he would usually come here and go in the hall and study to me to be about in books and history it's a nice place to uh, like focus and do your studying but right now it's closed but this is what it looks like the National Archive portrait and right across there is the United States Navy Memorial um, usually in the summer there's a waterfalls and it's a memorial site um, that is dedicated towards the Navy and along the rails of the Navy Memorial I don't know if you can see it there closer towards the rails there's different design um, engraved on the rails that replicate uh, times in history and then straight ahead I don't know if you can see that building straight up ahead is the Port National Portrait Gallery so in there you'll find portraits of past president um, significant um, historical personnel uh, there's a huge painting there of Michelle Obama and there's a huge painting there of portrait of, um, of all the presidents I think uh, Bill Clinton and uh, Obama but there's a lot of lot of um, portraits in there giant portraits dedicated to uh, historical personnel um, and that's the National Portrait Gallery so that's currently closed um, but definitely a place to check out a uh, good restaurant in DC is Chops if you're um, like a vegetarian um, nine to meat chops have some really great tasting um, food uh, in terms of like green food that's healthy so that's a really cool place to check out or we'll keep walking down uh, Pennsylvania Avenue and we'll see what next we uh, what pops up on the um, of interest here and I'll turn the video on so you guys can check out so the two buildings that we have side by side um, the building over here is the Department of Justice building, the DOJ building and this is usually where the Attorney General sits inside this office here and uh, the building on my right is the FBI building which you see a lot in those movies, Netflix movies and stuff this is what the FBI building actually looked like so now you guys can see what the FBI building looks like and compare it to what you see on Netflix and on all those movie channels that's what the building looks like it's pretty flat building couple layers nothing fancy just have the J. Edgar Hoover, Hoover um, entrance straight ahead but yeah it's a simple building uh, but yeah that's the FBI building and then the Department of Justin Bil Justice building um, right across which is also a very simple building um, probably one two three four six uh, floors but just a simple building and tons of staff work here so usually have a um, pretty busy Monday to Friday but I guess many folks are working from home so that's the f entrance there it has a giant uh, metal door uh, for the DOJ office I believe this does have the um, Tony General works at this office I believe but yeah if you watch a lot of Netflix and stuff they have replicas of the Department of Justice this is what the building looks like um, and then if I go towards my left that's the, the FBI building so kind of across from each other very simple structure all right, so we keep going down towards the gift shop, almost there. Uh, we got this is 10th Street. We gotta get to 14th Street, and then make a right. So 
it is a little bit of walk so if you're coming to dc expect to walk a lot i don't recommend driving there's too many police here too many one ways a lot of construction um, probably take you longer to drive than just to walk so that's why we usually walk when we come here all right in front of me here this is the irs building so this is where the folks that write or um, enforce the tax law and verify income and all that stuff uh, this is the building where that all happens this is the national irs building um yeah a very simple building also has the the 18th century look to it in terms of the design and layout but yeah that's what it looks like so when you watch on tv this is where your a lot of the stuff from the irs happens in this building here and um, very interesting so we keep walking towards the uh, white house gift shop a lot of these buildings are under construction uh, so there's not a lot of people here which is quite um, awesome in a way because we get to explore it by ourselves. we're one of the only person here on the sidewalk there's someone far ahead but there's barely anyone around here um, for a Sunday that's unusual but I haven't been here in a very long time um, so in front of me here is probably the most controversial building um, this is the Trump International Hotel it used to be the old post office this is the Trump Hotel um, right here very simple building um, has the post office looks looked it there you go Trump International Hotel so this is the old post office was purchased by the president and over there you have the presidential ballroom um, there's a lot of conferences and stuff that happens in here but that's what the Trump International Hotel is in DC I'll take you guys to the front entrance so you can see what that looks like it has the US flags flying and then it has the staircase there and then you'll see the Trump brand in front So right in front there you'll see I like that I kept the old post office below it and then you'll see the Trump brand for Trump brand hotel it's currently closed um, so there's no nothing happening there that's what it looks like so this is the Trump International Hotel in DC finally made it we're in the White House gift shop and you can see all this really nice souvenir I'm getting one of these to take with me um, there's all these cherry blossom bottles that you can get there's some cool shirts yeah there's a lot of stuff here you can't come to and here's the iconic photo of our grandfather here There you go. So I'm gonna keep walking around and see what I want and get a few stuff. I'm getting some extra masks and I'll be giving away to the first 20 subscribers. Just inside the comment section, just tell me where you're watching the video from um, and subscribe to the channel and I'll be mailing those masks out to you guys. <laughs>
Alright guys, so I hope you enjoy today's video. Um, it was nice to see the Capitol. Um, had a chance to look at the George Washington Tower and then went down to the White House. And then uh, most of, I got to check this off the list. I went to the um, White House gift store and I got some stuff that I always wanted to buy. Um, and one thing that I really, really got is excited about is these masks. These are the... Um, the White House masks. I got them in black. They didn't have any more stock of the blue. These are washable and it has the United States of America seal on them. It's pretty cool. So I'm excited to have these. Nice fit. You know, something I really wanted to get. Um, we also got some other stuff. So I got a lot of extra masks which I'll give away to a subscriber. And the other thing that I got here from the White House gift store, let's show you guys what this looks like, is a um, souvenir of the U.S. Capitol. So here you can see um, we have the um, Capitol Hill here, and then we have the memorial, and then we have the um, George Washington Tower and then we have the White House and it's really nice I like that they have the cherry blossom on it so it has the cherry blossom festival on it so that's something that we got it's pretty cheap it's about $20 and let's put this away we did also get a um, souvenir in this We also got one of these, which is sort of like um, a good item for decoration. I'll show you what it looks like. So we got one of these. You can use this to uh, put on different shelves for decor. Pretty nice. It has all the different um, sites in Washington DC. So we got that. Only paid about $20 for that also. And um, yeah, so that's about it. Got some more masks. I'm going to keep this one in the car. So yeah, that's our uh, video for today. By the time you guys watching this video, we will be driving down to Toronto. And um, I have a lot of goals in mind. Once I get to Toronto, I want to go to Ottawa to see the capital of Toronto. I mean, it's capital of Canada. And um, yeah, we'll just be vlogging some of the major stuff that's happening and keep you guys informed. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like and share this video and we'll see you on the next video on the next adventure.